Good afternoon. This is Ken Earl with Easy Chem, continuing with our series about cadmium coils. Today I want to talk a little bit about some other aspects of a cadmium coil that can make a difference. One is using imidazole as the buffer instead of ammonium chloride. This is a, an approved replacement by the EPA for the buffer. It's a much better buffer because it has no chloride. Chloride can actually attack the cadmium in here and cause it to plaque up and then the copper won't be able to stick to it. The same with leaving bridge in there overnight. That's why we recommend that you flush this out with DI water at the end of the night and store it in DI water, not uh, the buffer. And by making a buffer out of imidazole, you only use 7 to 15 grams per liter versus 85 of the ammonia chloride. It allows much lower level sensitivity and is quieter overall and the buffer is actually more powerful than ammonia chloride. So this is something you should definitely look into. Check with us if you need the recipe for that. And also I want to talk about samples. Samples with high uh, uh, acid or high metals can cause big problem for the, co the copper that's in the cadmium coil. So be sure if you're having problems with your coil losing efficiency be sure to check into your samples because a lot of times if you have a lot of variable samples you'll actually get issues related to that and you may have to increase the power of your buffer or uh, neutralize your samples or even dilute your samples to see if these effects are mitigated by taking these actions. So that uh, is all we're going to cover for today. Check back in if we have any more topics on cadmium coil. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.